What's up guys, it is Welsh Dragon DSG here and welcome back to another PSG career mode and today we have got three mighty games for you. We are playing Lil uh, or Lily as I call, used to call him, yes I used to call Lil Lily. I know it's embarrassing but anyway guys make sure you drop the video a like and a comment, I will be highly appreciated. And don't forget to vote for player of the day and let's smash 100 likes, that would be amazing. And let's crack on it. It's obviously we got a slightly different side up, and what I've done because of a uh, lot of tiredness within the side, obviously you got to change people around, you got to work with what you got. So what I say do is put uh, Van der Via or something. You know what I'm on about the right bat, the Dutch right bat. He came from my axe and never plays for PSG as far as I know. And uh, we do end up going one now. And what I've done is put him in CDM position just to cover for variety at the moment, just so because he's really tired. He's playing week in week out, and what can you do? And then here we go, a chance with Menya. Yeah, it's absolute quality finish. Wins the ball, and I think we got lucky with a slight EA glitch here. The two players collateral in with each other. And Menyes is a quality player, just so you know. Uh, transfer window is coming up, and I have had a little nose at the one and only James Rodriguez, which a lot of you have actually suggested, so we will find out very soon. Will I sign him or not? And who else could I sign for the side be interested? But anyway, actually, call on ball, puts the ball through to Menyes, and Menyes does end up getting another goal. For PSG, Hamsu running right, and he's playing on this right hand side where Rodriguez would play. And the transfer window is coming up. But you're thinking, do I want a new player when I got a player like this playing so well uh, for me? And uh, I have given P uh, what do you call it, a break, Ibrahimovic, because I'm thinking nothing's going right with him. But anyway, Lavez on the ball now. He's going to go for the shot. He puts up his left foot, the bottom right hand corner. What an absolutely quality finish. Just a front flip into a back flip twist. Oh my god, I just remember that's a vi an old video I used. Yeah, I know that was pretty random, but it, it came to my head. I was like, oh my god, I've said that in a video before. But anyway, we go 3 nil up, and this is what I wanted. I needed one of these games. You know what I mean? It's halftime, we're 3 nil up, and we got Lavezzi on the ball now. He's going to put a through ball. No, he's not. He's going to muzzle off the, the defender, and he's going to whip the ball into Cavani. It's absolute point. Perfect for the header. And makes it 4-0. What a quality finish. Absolutely lovely jubbly from Cavani. And I use the early cross technique. And I need to learn crosses. Which is stupid to say. Because I always do early cross. And I always muck it up when I shouldn't really be doing an early cross. But anyway. Uh, Van der Veel on the ball now. And then we got Matuidi. Matuidi now looking for that extra pass. Gives the ball to Cole. Everyone's dissing Cole in the comments I noticed. But Cole's a good player. Don't diss him. He's going to do well for us, and I trust you in that. Wait for the upcoming games. I can tell you that for a fact. Cavani goes for the shot. We tried to make it 5-0, but unfortunately that doesn't happen. And the final whistle does actually blow. We do end up winning 4-0, and it was a dominant game, and it's what we needed. Uh, it's just one of those games where you absolutely batter the opponent. I mean, everything goes like, and look at that. Ashley Cole with a 9.8 rating. So please, ladies and gentlemen. Give the man a break. Lavezzi 9.7. Menez 9.4. Cavani 8.4. Thiago 8. Quality, quality game. And we are currently fourth in the table with um, a game in front of Lille, uh, which is a big, big uh, disappointment there. Big side. But anyway, we've got contract offers, so I not particularly want to take an international job off yet. We might do. Uh, I, think, I think I will. In the next three episodes after the January transfer is done, I want to get January out of the way, then consider about what teams I can actually do. But anyway, we do want to change the side around a little bit. Also, I'm not playing Lucas a lot lately. Uh, that's because uh, my team's been playing well, and so why change something that isn't broken? So we change the side a little bit just to uh, freshen the legs, and we've got uh, stayed Renias. Renis? Renis, I think that's how you pronounce it. And we got the snow. It's a different one. It's gonna be, I've never actually played in snow in uh, this game. But anyway, we got Thiago Silva to actually call. And uh, no, Thiago Silva makes the mistake, goes in for the slight tackle, and is a great save from the goalkeeper. We defend it, tries to clear it, and guess what? A bizarre own goal does end up making us go Wendell down in the ninth minute. We try to get rid of it. What are the odds in that? And it kicks straight into the goalkeeper. Absolute unbelievable. And the ball thing bugs me there. Any goalkeeper would slide for that, but you can't do nothing with it. It's a compute then. You should be able to have slight control over your goalkeeper in that situation. That's just my opinion. Um, but anyway, guys, I got a comment question of the day for you. What would you like to see in FIFA 15 career mode? I got obviously post that in the comments. Let me know. Be interesting. Obviously, I've 
thrown a bunch of ideas out there on videos. So you want to go check that out? There's a playlist link in my chat. Uh, my th actually, I'll put it in the description for you guys. Check out my description, and there will be a playlist link. All the few 15 ideas I've seen. So if you haven't seen them, check them out. Um, but anyway. For a second half now, 1 0 down, so we're going to whip the ball in now to Pastore. He flicks the header on from Levesi, and we do end up making it 1 1 with an absolute quality finish. And what a play, what a goal, and what a play. Look at that. Does a, I think actually it came off the defender, I do believe. I don't think it actually came off Levesi. Yeah, it came off the defender. Pastore does end up for a shot. First time, half volley. Does end up making it 1 1 52 minutes in now. We got Danny Alves on the ball. He's going to put a... I don't know what he's doing. Oh, it's a foul. <laughs> but yeah, he sent him spinning. Cesc Fabregas now on the ball. What the hell was that accident all about? Cesc Fabregas. It was going in, but it's a great save on the goalkeeper. And yet to score a free kick um, in this career mode. So hopefully we can. I was loving him with Sigerson. Absolute darning. And I like... It was an absolute beast. Um, but anyway, here we go. You're the rated. Thiago Silva... Um, with a 6.9, Cesc Fabregas was our man of the match with an 8.5, Pastoria with an 8, Hummels and Danny Alves pushing above a 7, but the ones below a 6 are midfield, Ashley Cole and Sirigu. And a lot of people actually suggesting me to get a new goalkeeper, so find out in the transfer, which we do actually have some transfer drama, and I should have really done it live, but I didn't. It was stressful, let's just say that for the least. Anyway. Uh, we are playing Lille now, which is a vital, vital, vital game for our campaign to try and get to the league, t to the top of the table once again. And with our draw recently, is not good. But anyway, it's a foul there, and it's a free kick instantly. And we do end up going for the shot. And it's off the bar. And it's one nil. Cavani. It was close, but not close enough to go off the free kick. But Cavani does end up putting it in with his head to so make it that one nil in the just before half time. And I beat the goalkeeper. But anyway, 37 minutes in now. Cavani now on the ball. He's making the enemy shake in his boots. And he goes to the shot. And it's a great save on the goalkeeper. But the defender does end up clearing the ball. But Levez is on the run. The ball's over the top. But guess what? It's a flop of a shot. And they do end up 45 minutes in now. Going into the second half. 1 0 up against Lille. As we man him somewhere else out. We got a shot. But what a save on the goalkeeper. Giovanni absolutely belting it, that's some absolute quality hands here. And anyway, we got Kalu on the ball, but he's going to go run straight into Sirigu. Great save on the goalkeeper. And we do end up from the ball upfield. Levesi now on the ball, puts the ball off to Menez. Menez, he's going to go for the, for the shot, and it's just wide off the post. He couldn't go any closer. Menez running the show in the last couple of games. And we do end up winning that game 1-0. Danny Alves again, the man of the match. And guys, that's the end of the episode. I want to say thank you very much for joining me. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure you drop the video likes, get 100 likes. Don't forget my comment question of the day. We're in third place, which is, what would you like to see in 315 Cream Thank you very much for your support. My name is Welsh Energy, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye, guys.